Mr. Kloster, the district attorney's office and Captain Stottlemyre would like to exhume the body of your first wife. I've read their application. They've listed a number of similarities between the two cases. Your first wife, Tatiana Bay Kloster, was in her 30s, apparently healthy, and died from a sudden and severe cardiac event. She, too, was heavily insured. Captain Stottlemyre and Mr. Monk have been to Pacifica. They've spoken to some of your old neighbors, and a few of them remember you had oleander plants in your garden 15 years ago. I'm convinced there's a clear and unique pattern of behavior. I am going to grant this petition. Your first wife's body will be exhumed first thing tomorrow. And let me warn you, if in fact there are traces of this poison in her body, you can expect the district attorney's office to bring two counts of murder. Thank you, Judge. Section 261 should be up there. Here, here it is. Hey, over here. You're making a big mistake. You made the mistake, Kloster. You should have had your first wife cremated, too. Sorry for the delay. We know how important this is, so we wanted to make sure. There was no poison in the body. We didn't find a thing. Impossible. The woman died of natural causes. We're sure of it. Thank you, Mr. Monk. What for? Our little game. To be honest with you, uh, I'm sorry, it's over. Excuse us. Very good. 32, young man. Let's do this. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for your generous support. We're going to begin the exhibition in just a few minutes. International Grandmaster Patrick Kloster will be playing simultaneous matches against four of the highest ranked players in California. It should prove to be very exciting. Oh, there's that kid from the park. What a geep. It's a geep. Hmm, it's a geek who's a little creepy. All right, Mr. Monk, I have to be honest. I'm still not quite sure why we're here. He won't talk to you. He won't return your phone calls. What can we do? I don't know. But I, I, I can't just quit. To me, quitting would be like giving up. If I was playing against him, he'd have to talk to me, right? Okay, we here. What's she doing? She's, uh, she's flirting. She's good at it. Shut up. She's definitely done this before. Okay. Yeah, she's got it down. Thank you. Mom, you remember my friend Eric? Um, I told him about the case and about how you think Mr. Kloster killed his wife. I believe it, too. Congratulations. You're player number one. You mean I can play in the tournament? You're my proxy. It's in the bylaws. I can designate someone to take my place. Thank you. Don't bring out your queen too early. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome international grandmaster, Patrick Kloster. Well, well, well. The pernicious Mr. Monk. Your threshold for pain must be extraordinary. It's your move. Yes, I know. Linda must have truly despised me to have brought you into my life. Mr. Monk. That's my piece, Mr. Monk. I'm just centering it. You'll thank me later.
Mr. Monk. Please. I pass. You can't pass. For the love of God, why don't you just resign? How about this? If I win this game, you have to tell me how you poisoned your wives. What are you talking about? I am not agreeing to that. How about this? If we play to a draw, you come with me to police headquarters. Mr. Monk, I'm not negotiating with you. When are you going to realize that it is over? Your castling? Yes, the rook and the king switch places. They switch places? Yes, it's the best way I know to get oneself out of trouble. You came here that night before we exhumed your wife's body and switched headstones. That's why we didn't find any poison. So we dug up the wrong body. Very good, Mr. Monk. You play a brilliant end game. Right. Can I tell you something? I am sick and tired of you talking like this, all these chess metaphors. Two women are dead. They're not chess pieces, Patrick. They're human beings. I think they deserve better. Although, if you insist, checkmate. 